Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing in our Thrones Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.3 preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. In the last episodes, we have been trying to secure the northern parts of the galaxy here. Uh, we have space over all shot taken, so we need to get some ground forces around here uh, to go up north and take that out. We're also sending Thrawn and his forces uh, over in this direction. This is going to be probably our last episode with Thrawn. Uh, we're going to go to the next era next time, or next episode, so that'll be Saturday. Uh, we'll get Palpatine, that'll give us Biss, and we'll probably break out of the core with those forces. Uh, so, let's start off with the invasion of Bill Bringy over here. Against the Empire of the Hand. The last few days I've been doing a good amount of... Uh, groundwork mostly on infantry stuff so separating the models on the uh, soldiers from the weapons which will let us uh, more easily swap between different weapons for different loadouts and we're also deciding on what will be the ultimate uh, company makeup I think right now the general consensus within the team is that we're going to have the uh, regular soldier squads have a an anti-tank unit or two in each squad rather than have them be uh, separate squad or separate companies or separate squads within a company. There were a few different options we talked about. Ah, you missed. So yeah, right now I'm just working on the uh, on the regular infantry. After that, it's going to be on to commandos. Uh, there's still some changes to make to vehicle movement, and then a couple changes to make uh, to artillery. But that'll be most of the basic balancing changes. Uh, then it's going to be for 2.3. We're going to move on to some broader mechanical changes, I believe, uh, as well as making any further adjustments that need to be made. Sorry, I just alt-tabbed out of the game there for a second. Because I play in windowed mode. Alright, you guys are still good out there. Yes, sir. I want you to get Quiet that. Yes, sir. Get our various Steve Bloom Blooms there. out there. Yes, come on. Oh, We've you can walk out there. Do they even have any structures? It doesn't look like it. So... Bombers I mean, by. we have no real way of knowing which Ready. position they're going to be in when that happens, but... Initiate Let's move out. We can just go through and blow their stuff up then. There's three more of them, and they're all the flame tanks, I believe. Over there. Flame tanks are Gilzeans. Yeah, flame tank. Flame tank. So all anti-infantry. I guess the flame tanks aren't working with the hardpoint changes right now. That's good to know. So that'll need to be checked out. Okay, so bring his ours again. System control achieved. So constructing. Let's go double HV gun. No, nope. my planet, started. not yours. Beginning double HV gun. And for this army group, I'm going to send up to Yol Shah. On my way, sir. Construction complete. We do have a TIE crawler somewhere around here. Oh, look at that. Did you think that was a good idea? Well, it, it's not as big of a combat power difference as I thought that would be. Especially if they do have an HV gun. Did they have one here? I don't think they did. Or Ion, they, yeah. CSA doesn't have HP. Tie interceptor here. 
Uh, oh. We're counted as the invader still. Because this is their planet. So... We need to get over there. Cruiser reporting. Navigating to coordinates. Star Destroyer reporting in. Ties reporting I'm going to have to check the uh, some of the planets for building some uh, <clears throat> Engines activated. building some of the other patron units. Because there were a few more coded in between the episodes. Interceptor squad reporting. And as soon as we get into Air 3, we should be able to build uh, Sovereign right away. Yes, Commander. Heavy cruiser standing by. Moving. But now let's keep moving over there. Order, sir. Ready for command, sir. For the Empire. Intercept heading along. Really wish we had all these icons when I was doing the CSA playthrough. It made life a lot easier. Okay, we're going to focus down Inquisitor first, and then after that we're going to go for Inquisitor. Uh, just in case anyone was unclear on which Inquisitor was going to die first. Shields are almost down on that one. Uh, bomber... Oh, never mind. We were not counted as the invader for that. So we're going to have to try to pull back a little bit. They are attacking us a little bit. One of the strike cruisers there is having a bad day. You move out of there, Dreadnought. Okay, let's try to focus on the uh, the raiding fighters. Ready for battle. Let's hit this VSD. You're gonna start taking damage. You're gonna move back. All right, first Luker Hulk is down. This Lancer is almost in danger range. Make sure you're hitting the weapons that actually matter with your power to weapons. There we go. All right, making progress. Moving. There we go. All right. Merciless also needs to uh, take a hike. Characters are going to come in along with these two strike cruisers to help against this uh, this ISD. Is this a Tector? No, this is ISD 2. This is a Tector. There. I'm actually going to make sure the Tector still focuses down the Lucra Hulk. Here we go. Octuple, you guys on the octuples as well. There we go. Down, down. Okay, all of our stuff should be safe now. We did take a few losses. 
but I really thought they'd be jumping in behind us, so... It is what it is. It be what it do. It do what it done. It done what it done did. As they say. Alright. Also, uh, just got finished writing the script for the next lore video, which is going to be on Datapad on Saturday. Uh, it's on Garnbell Iblis, because that was what uh, you guys voted on for the first character video. Uh, I thought it would end up being the shortest video I've done so far, but it's actually looking like it's going to be the longest. So, like the other two videos, the one on Corellia and the one on... Uh, Construction complete. The one on the huts were each about 10 minutes, three pages in the script. Uh, but this one has gone up to about four pages in the script. So that's probably going to... Oh, look at that. Probably going to be... Oh, my mouse is just really not cooperating today. I thought it was done with that, but it is just... It wants to be... It wants to be replaced. And I really don't want to have to pay to replace it. Oh well. Roger. Choose your reinforcements. All right, after all those times getting invaded here, it's finally my turn. Destination set. Move out. Base shields up. Right away. Moving to that area, sir. ATAT -AT ready. Yes, sir. Scouting. Armor front four. All right. But yeah, so if you want to check that out and you're not subscribed to Corey's datapad yet, there's a link in the description, I think. Uh, if not, there's one on the channel page. I'm gonna keep plugging each channel and each other channel until there's the exact same number of subscribers on each one, which is never gonna happen. No, I'm actually gonna stop very quickly, because I'm sure that's obnoxious for people who have no interest in lore videos on this channel, and people on the other channel who would have no interest in gaming videos. So... Uh, oh, that's that's scary. That's scary. This is scary. This is too scary. Strike breakers too OP still. Awaiting orders. Uh, I didn't really consider how I'd kill strike breakers right now. It was only fun when I was benefiting from them being OP. On the move. Okay, this Persuader is just going to be so dead. I wonder if... I think I can actually hit it with uh, an Orbital Bombardment. Nope, I did it again. Your orders. Target acquired. Reporting to me. Commencing attack. I copy. Weapons armed. ATAT destroyed. All right, man, take cover. Support order acknowledged. Choose your reinforcements. On my way, sir. Bombing run available. We killed it. Okay, let's make sure we kill that, uh... Okay, turks on the turbo laser. We gotta kill this right here. So we can... Actually, we may as well do this. Because by the time we're actually over there... It's all gonna be down anyways. There we go. One of you. Got it. 
Take that, CSA. So one of the changes with the infantry is that their uh, the blaster stuff, all the weapons are going to be more directly coded. So they're going to be tried like we're going to try to stat them properly with what the weapon's supposed to be instead of that just being a visual thing. And then if we have whatever, so like E11s are going to act like E11s. Other kinds of rifles are going to act appropriately for what you'd expect for that kind of rifle. Uh, I think we we're giving the New Republic spec forces E280s. Then Chis Charaks are a thing. Uh, and the fact that they have the... Where's the... Do they not have the capital building? They don't. So yeah, the uh, the AT in each squad is going to make it make them somewhat effective against vehicles, but uh, just the other regular rifles are not going to be. You're not going to be able to like sit behind an ATAT -AT with a regular squad of infantry if the uh, rocket launcher troops are dead and kill it. You probably won't do much damage at all. And a lot of infantry's, uh, there's going to be a reduction in the number of particles flying around at once, or projectiles flying around at once. But a lot of infantry survivability is going to come from uh, being harder to hit than other stuff, instead of just absorbing shots. Especially for anti-vehicle weapons. So like, if there's something like this that is supposed to be an anti-vehicle cannon, it's going to be hard for it to hit an infantry. If there's something that is meant to be an anti-infantry weapon, it's going to have a much easier time. Okay, we win. We are victorious. Lost an ATAT, ATST, and stormtroopers, but we killed a strike breaker. So you know that's building started. What it's all about. Uh, and I guess we'll need to leave some stuff here to defend for a little while. End our planetary battle. Greater Maldrude is invadering. Battalion standing by. Roll out. Moving secondary position. Turbo laser tower. This is probably one of the easier planets to defend on because of this being capturable and then a large line of sight you get from that. But we're gonna go out and meet these guys. The enemy is approaching. You've already got these structures built up, and it looks like it's just some infantry. Deploying. Yeah. Scanning for enemies. Support order acknowledged. Um, we want to send this fleet in over there. Hey. This is my planet. Garm. I'm doing a video on you and everything, and you're just invading me? Invadering me? Do we have the two HP guns there? We do. Order confirmed. So let's do that. Tactical battle imminent. And we'll probably leave this fleet up north. Uh, we'll send Thrawn down to maybe even Metalorn and take those planets before going for these guys. The enemy has been spotted. And I think on Friday I'm going to put the next poll up on Patreon for uh, patrons to pick which faction we're going to play next. Uh, I was going to do New Republic to show off some government stuff when that's ready, but it looks like that's not going to be ready immediately. Like this is probably going to end before that happens, uh, so we may end up doing that a little bit differently. So there'll be one of the options for people to pick. Uh, 
It might even just be between the New Republic and the Empire of the Hand. Because uh, those factions are two that we haven't really done in a long time. Too bad we don't have any ISD or er, have ISD, any lancers. Uh, what's the HP gun? This way. Nice. We might get the shields down, and it's in front. You dicks! Did that actually hit some of the fighters? Yeah, I'm gonna get Fenir out of there for a second. Okay, he's a uh, full squadron. Good. Now let's focus down this guy. That strike cruiser in there too. Some of the abilities on some of the fighter heroes are a little bit wonky right now. So I'm not sure if this is actually working properly because it didn't have the proper cooldown indicators. And I'm not sure if that's something that can actually be fixed. We'll have to check how they'll set them up. They're going to start actually doing damage on their own with that. Uh, what? You guys got to do that. And then Fenir, come and take out these A-Wings that are trying to hit the bombers. Oh god, it's just Fenir. Get back. Well, this battle is going to be the best chance that the fleet on this side of the galaxy has to uh, establish things on their own, and these two are going to be gone with the next era anyway, so even if we did end up losing them in this battle. Actually, do Brand Iron Board? I think they do. I'm pretty sure they do leave. Because Dorja is technically back later with the uh, Sinister Triumvirate. But... HV gun is available. I'm gonna try it on that again. There we go. Shields did get taken down. That's good. Ion cannon is down. It's just the hangar left on that guy. There we go. Now we can focus on that. Georgia, you can try to track that guy down now. I just want the strike cruiser. There we go. Let's get our capital ships to follow on Great Damsel. Because the Dreadnought should be able to handle those, the Strike Cruiser. There we go. HP gun's ready. Let's get it. There we go. The size of the Marauder is really helping keep it alive right now. That last power to shields. Okay. So we should be good now. Fire on the 
Even if they try to retreat, those engines should be going down. Any second now, there we go. And four hard points left. Got him. Got him. I think that's the second Christopher Walken impression of this Let's Play. So I need to stop with that. All right, and we are going to go for Metal Ore next. Beginning construction. Of course. There were a lot of people asking in uh, the Discord server and also in the comments where I got the Kadalbi. Uh, so in the first in the first episode, I actually captured it. Uh, so if you missed that, go check that out. The boarding action. Okay. I think this started, this Let's Play started after I did the fighter reductions. So it should be a little bit more reasonable right now than it was before. I copy. Advancing on target. Ready and we've got the, th the Thrawn Bat bonus. So. Should be good there. Weapons online. My scopes are jammed. Okay. Let's try to use this part of the fleet to uh, kill that. I'm going to tell the uh, Allegiance, not the Avenger, to go straight for there. You're going to hold back just in case the Long Cal tries to leave. Something to report. Of course. Tightening up. Commander, our shields won't protect. I'm gonna try to make sure Thrawn doesn't die in battle. Uh we're gonna go for the actual manual transmission. Air transition, not transmission. Attacking target at maximum firepower. Yes, Commander. Regroup. Attacking. Reporting in. All right, power to weapons. Weapons charged. Awaiting your command. Our primary target is your Disable those ion cannons. All right, I'm going to try to keep the Allegiance actually a little bit off to this side so we can take out that Golan 2 first. Uh, so let's make sure we're on the right path for that. Get our bombers to go with them. This is going to be fine for now. Ron, you really shouldn't show up there yet. I misunderestimated how long or how quickly he would get there. What is it you want? He's headed your direction. Getting a lot of here. Closing Close on target. Copy. Targeting. Pursuing enemy forces. Enemies in range. Fleet, your transmission garbled. Repeat. Form up. I copy. So many of the lines in Empire War are about how they didn't actually get their orders, which I suppose is just a way, like like an in-universe way to explain the pathfinding. So, I guess that works. All right, Thrawn almost almost lost his shields there. I mean, he lost his shields, but he didn't lose the shield generator. So. Let's get uh, interceptor over there. That plus the bomber should be enough to take out the that X-wing. Who do we got, anyways? This is just a regular Tector. Regular Allegiance. Regular Kadalbi. There we go. The Thrawn should be fine. 
I'm gonna actually send him straight back in there. Oh boy, it's gonna be seven degrees tomorrow. Finally in summer. I hate how cold it is, so if it could always be like, let's say, anywhere from like 10 to 25 degrees, I think, Celsius is the, the most comfortable temperature area, I'd just be, I'd just be happy with that. All right, there's that. Okay, you're close enough that you should be able to take out the structure now. You're always free to attack. Thrawn, you want to come up and help with that? There she goes. Alright. Now it's just the, uh, the garrisons there. Roger will I am available. ED. Destroyer here. Tightening up. I'm on them. Weapons online. It's just this guy left over here. There it is. All right, so we'll just take a quick peek at the build bar on one of our shipyard worlds. Uh, queue up a few more of the patron units. We did lose a couple units there to the Empress. Uh, Strike Cruiser, Lancer, and Escort, and Victory 2. Uh, so once we have the patron units built, we'll queue up probably a few more Lancers. So let's see, we got... Porto does finish things. I dodge Hypervelocity Gun. Edis. Nero's Lament. Death Trap. And over here at Jameis, we can queue up I Have You Now, as well as Autark, Roshanant. Uh, was that Survival of the Clueless? It was. And Chained Heart, I believe we can get. Unit. <coughs> Sorry about that. But that is going to do it for today's episode, so thank you so much for watching, everyone. In the next episode, like I said, we are going to try to uh, progress to Era 3. Uh, I would like to go through all the errors if we can, uh, or all the remaining errors in this playthrough if we can, because we started out in Era 2, not Era 1, so there's two that we skipped technically. Uh, but that leaves us with Palpatine, Jax, Dala, and Pelion to get through. Uh, so we'll do Palpatine, we'll probably play with like four or five episodes in Palpatine times. Uh, a couple in Jax, a couple in Dala, a couple in Pelion that we'll finish off in. Anyways, thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I will see you next time. Bye!